Hey guys, did you know that you can now stream lossless audio from Apple Music to your Sonos sound system like what I'm doing now on my Sonos Arc, except that it's playing through the Apple TV? But you can actually use the Sonos S2 app to pull lossless tracks from Apple Music already. So you need to have updated both your speaker's soundbar, the firmware itself, as well as the S2 app. Now, technically, the S2 app update isn't necessary, but it is required before you see the lossless batch. And by now, nine months since this update to enable lossless pulling of music from Apple Music, you would have updated the S2 app anyway. Now, before you go ahead and try it out for yourself, let me give you a rundown of what lossless audio really is. So what is lossless audio? Now, lossless audio uses a form of compression that will preserve all the original data in the original source file of the music for the highest quality of sound. Now, Apple has developed its own lossless audio compression technology, it's ELEC, which is Apple Lossless Audio Codec. It delivers audio that is indistinguishable from the original studio recording. Now, lossless, don't be tricked. It doesn't mean it is high resolution. High res refers to the bit depth and sampling rate that needs to go up to 24 bit depth and 192 kilohertz sampling rate. Now, lossless, which is supported by the Sonos players, it only supports up to 24-bit depth and 48 kilohertz sampling rate. So hardly close to the high res of a minimum of 96 kilohertz before it is considered high res. Now, even if it is lossless, you might not actually hear the difference. So case in point, if I were to be pulling out my Apple Music on my iPhone right here and I click play, okay, you will notice that there is a lossless logo here. The lossless badge is there. But if you're listening to music, the sound that is coming out from your iPhone, it is hardly deserving of the lossless badge. You're playing through the tiny speakers on the iPhone. So lossless for what? So when it comes to Sonos, Sonos would like to make you think that their speakers, their soundbars, their speakers, they are all capable of producing the highest quality music for lossless playback. But the honest truth is that it doesn't really get to the point where it renders high res well enough through the speaker for you to tell the difference that much. Yes, there is definitely less compression. Things sound a little bit cleaner. But if you're not trained to listen out for that kind of things, you may not be able to tell the difference. So how can you listen to lossless on Apple Music? Well, you simply need to pick up your S2 app and you can stream from Apple Music. You cannot go to Apple Music and Bluetooth to your Art Ultra or your ERA 100, ERA 300, or even the portable Move and Roam, right? You need to actually use the S2 app to pull the Apple Music track and then send it over Wi-Fi to your Sonos speakers. Now, which Sonos speakers are supported? I'm happy to report almost every single speaker from the Move to the Roam to the Fives to the older ones, the Arcs, the Beam Ray, M Port Connect, even the Symphonics line of speakers from IKEA are supported for lossless. But bear in mind, this is lossless over Wi-Fi. You can only get lossless audio on your Sonos products over Wi-Fi, with one exception where you can get lossless over Bluetooth, and that is on the Sonos Ace headphones. But even that comes with a few caveats. So when it comes to lossless over Bluetooth, it is not so simple, right? Because Bluetooth in itself, it is low bandwidth, even at the highest enhanced data rate, it goes only 50 megabits per second. So the Sonos Ace is at Bluetooth 5.4, the Sonos Move, the ERA 100, 300, and the Arc Ultra, they implemented 5.3. The Roam 2 uses Bluetooth 5.2, but the version is not the problem. The data rate between the 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, they are exactly the same. So what is the difference? The Sonos Ace 5.4 Bluetooth version also supports Qualcomm Snapdragon Sound aptX for lossless. So 
what it means is that you actually need to connect the Sonos Ace headphones to an Android device that supports the Qualcomm Snapdragon sound, APDX for lossless. So lossless audio is not available over Bluetooth when it's connected to any of your Apple devices. So if you're using an Apple device, then you're out of luck. So if you go off now, launch up your Sonos S2 app and start pulling track from Apple Music to play on your speakers, you might not actually see the lossless patch. And why is that so? Because it actually prioritizes spatial audio. So if the track is available in Dolby Atmos, it will actually play Dolby Atmos and you will see the Dolby Atmos batch like this, right? So if you are listening to a track in spatial audio on a product like the Arc or the Era 300, you will not be able to see the lossless batch. So what you will need to do is to adjust your settings if you want to listen to a lossless version. So you got to open up your Sonos S2 app, you got to turn of spatial music. So go to settings, select the room or the product you want to turn it off under sound toggle of spatial music. So you find any content on Apple Music through your Sonos S2 app, they are able to pull the lossless and you will be able to see the lossless batch from there. Now, all the content on Apple Music Store is actually already at lossless. Not all of them are on Dolby Atmos. So the moment you turn off spatial audio, it will definitely pull a lossless track. Now, whether you can tell the difference or not, let me know in the comment section down below. I personally, for most of the time, I cannot tell the difference between a lossless track and a lossy track, right? But when it pulls a Dolby Atmos file, the spatial audio file, you can actually tell a huge difference because the sound stage is completely different. So it's not just the clarity of the sound, the sound stage changes, the voice and the instruments are coming from different places. So the distinction is actually very, very high. And not only that, Apple has actually bumped up he has made the volume louder on Dolby Atmos track. It could be a function of the sound coming from more speakers in your setup that makes it louder. But when you listen to an Atmos track, it does run a lot hotter. So if you ask me for regular enjoyment of music, Atmos will probably make a much larger difference than lossless. So does the ability to play lossless matter to you? I don't know, it doesn't really bother me that much because none of the Sonos speakers today will be able to render high resolution or even sound that is deserving of the lossless batch. I mean, granted, I'm not saying that there's no difference. I'm saying that the difference is going to be really small and you might not be able to tell the difference. No hubris here, just plain old truth. So hear it for yourself and let me know if you can tell the difference and I'll see you in one of my other videos.